hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have covered that how we can publish the dht11 sensor data from raspberry pi pico w to mosquito mqtt broker over local area network connection okay now in this video we are going to do the same but instead of dht11 sensor we are going to publish the internal temperature of raspberry pi pico w to mosquito mqtt broker over the local area network so again i have to validate that my mosquito broker services are up and running or not but it is up and running so that is fine uh, i can connect with my mosquito broker via mqtt explorer yes so my broker is up and running now uh, raspberry pi will connect to my wi-fi okay and the same wi-fi my laptop is connected so raspberry pi will send the data to mosquito broker which is running in my laptop so to make it work we have to add some port proxy or port forwarding in our system so for that i have created a block for you you can use use this and you can add your proxy setting in your system so first of all you have to find the ip address of your system so uh, yeah you can find using ipconfig command you can see i have the ip address of my system is 192.168.3.197 and you can see my laptop is connected to wi-fi so that is why i have this ip address okay and in the same way my raspberry pi is also connected to wi-fi so those are in the same network so my raspberry pi will send data to mosquito broker running in my system so to add the port proxy as per this blog you have to change the ip address of listen address parameter okay so listen address parameter should be ip address of your local host okay which you will find after running the ipconfig command okay so i have to use this ip address here so i have to use instead of 192.168.1.7 i have to use 192.168.1.197 okay i have to hit enter okay there is no error means the port proxy has been added after that i have to check okay so i can use this command okay you can see it is added now i can use this ip address to connect with my mosquito broker so i can copy the ip address from here i can paste it here and i can click on connect okay you can see i am able to connect with this ip address to my mosquito broker if i remove this okay then it will not work okay if you want to see that uh, we can remove it so instead of 1.7 i can 197 okay now you can see we have nothing now if i try okay now if i try to connect with the same ip it will not allow me to connect okay so for that we have to add this port proxy here okay it's added now i am able to connect okay so now our raspberry pi also will able to connect with the mosquito broker which is running on 192.168.3.197 okay now we have to open the thony micropython ide okay here is my thony i have added the program here okay and it will publish the internal temperature data of raspberry pi pico to mosquito broker at interval of five seconds okay and uh, here you have to add your wi-fi ssid and wi-fi password here you have to add your mqtt broker ip address and mqtt broker port number if you are using some cloud mqtt broker then you have to use uh, two other things also like username and password because cloud mqtt broker are secure so you have to modify the code to uh, make it work with the cloud mqtt broker and you have to also change here okay because we are using uh, mqtt broker username and password to connect with the mqtt broker so you have to change this line too okay so i have set up everything now our internal temperature of raspberry pi pico will be available at this topic in the uh, mqtt explorer okay so let me run this so we have run it you can see connected to wi-fi connected to mqtt broker and here you can see the internal temperature of my raspberry pi pico w okay if you want to see the graph then you can click here and you will see the graph here 
okay my data will be available at interval of 5 second you can see 23 23 plus 5 28 28 plus 5 again 33 okay so we have a data at interval of 5 seconds so what will be the data flow so raspberry pi pico is connected to my wi-fi and after that it is reading the internal temperature data and then it is connected to my uh, mosquito broker which is in my laptop and it will send data to my mosquito broker and with the help of this mqt explorer software i can again connect to my mosquito broker and i can read those data okay if you are using some cloud mqt broker then you can read the data from anywhere in the world okay so that is possible so if you want to remotely monitor anything then also you can do it with the raspberry pi pico w so in the previous video i have shown you the weather station type of project in which we are reading the data of tst 11 sensor temperature and humidity data and we are publishing the data to our mosquito broker which is locally we are publishing the data locally but if you have cloud mqt broker then also you can publish the data to cloud mqt broker and after publishing the data to cloud mqt broker you can read the data from anywhere in the world so that is possible so this is how you can you know publish your uh, internal temperature data of your raspberry pi pico w to mosquito mqt broker and yes one more thing you have to take care of is firewall so you have to search for firewall okay windows defender firewall with advanced security and in the inbound rules i have created rules for mqtt communication okay you can see uh, mqtt uh, where is the okay leave it yeah you can see here the port number 1883 so i have to use this port number to allow external traffic to my computer okay because my uh, mosquito broker is running in my local system you can see uh, mosquito and it is using the port 1883 okay so that is why i have to uh, add the inbound rule to get the external traffic to my system then only my raspberry pi pico w can send the data to my mosquito broker if i disable this rule okay if i disable this rule then my raspberry pi pico w will not able to send any data so i have disabled the rule let me disconnect let me connect again and you can see we are not receiving any data okay it is trying to send the data but we are not receiving any data so again i have to go back i have to enable this rule then only we have a data here okay so raspberry pi is not sending any data so we have to stop the program or we have to you know reboot it okay then after it will send the correct data so this is how the firewall works so you have to add the firewall rule for port number 1883 which we are using uh, for communication of uh, mqtt protocol okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or any concern then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere i'll help you as soon as possible okay so we have covered that uh, how to monitor your raspberry pi pico w internal temperature via mqtt protocol using the uh, mqtt explorer and mosquito broker okay so i hope everything is clear and if you still have any question or in doubt then you know where to ask so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you